Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video it's all about the new brand new update of Android 12 for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 3 but also the 5 Mark 3. But I'm not talking about the UI or some system changes here and there and the new design that Android 12 brings. I'm talking more about cameras. You know this channel is about cameras and photography and videography with smartphones especially. So I want to take a look at the camera application and I will take a look at the Photo Pro app and not at the Video Pro app because the Video Pro app is originally not for the One Mark III but the Photo Pro app. So let's check out if video quality or photo quality has been improved with Android 12. So let's get started. Let's talk about the UI first. So what you will notice when you start up the UI is a green dot at the top right corner of the screen or top left in landscape mode, which is a new indicator for Android 12 that indicates whenever the camera is in use. The other thing is like when I go, you can see I have a dongle plugged in. If I go to video mode here, let me just do it. You can see that we have, I think it is new, the option to see here that an external microphone has been plugged in. So I see this external kind of symbol here that indicates, okay, an external microphone has been plugged in. And that's basically everything that I show, uh, that I found. And when you go to settings or menu or something like this, you don't see anything new in the Photo Pro app. So all the options, all the settings are the same as before. So let's try out the new camera here to see how it performs for video and later also for photos. So this is the video test with the Xperia 1 Mark III and Android 12. Has anything been updated here in terms of colors, in terms of stabilization? It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. And this is what you can expect with Android 12. What do you think about this one? Is it still good for vlogging? I think it is. Uh, do I have the option to switch between lenses during recording? No, still not possible. But um, anyway, this is the main sensor on the Xperia 1 Mark III. And now the ultra wide angle on the Xperia 1 Mark III with Android 12. Anything updated here in terms of stabilization? I think it was pretty good already. In terms of colors, um, anything that you can see here that is better than on the earlier version. I don't think there's uh, much of an improvement here. But you can write down in the comment section if you see something new, if you see something better on this uh, yeah, Android 12 on the Xperia 1 Mark III. Now let's take a look at some photos to see if we can see any big differences to the older version. The photos taken with the Xperia 1 Mark III after the Android 12 update. And to be honest, I really don't see much of a difference. It's, yeah, uh, it looks a little bit like autumn, but it's winter time actually. You can see it's nice and sharp. So focusing is working fine. You have the bokeh bubbles in the background, which are in comparison to the Xperia Pro I, if you experience this, once of course uh, looks a bit fuzzy but still okay and you can see here yeah it's a bit unsharp to the sides but it's normal the ultra wide angle looks okay to me it's the same ultra wide angle that we had before so you can see mostly everything sharp even on the sides which is pretty good and uh, yeah in terms of hdr i cannot say much it is you see a little bit of blue sparkling here because it is like a winter day and no sunshine this is the zoom lens. This is a, uh, the 2.9 times zoom. As you can see here, nice and sharp. Uh, if you zoom in a little bit, you can see uh, it's probably not so sharp. It's more sharp in the middle uh, here uh, to the sides, towards the sides, it's getting a bit softer. And the same goes for 4.4. You can see everything gets a little bit of a haze because the 4.4 is not really sharp. So everyone who had expected that eventually the sharpness that the Xperia 5 Mark III has in comparison to the 1 Mark III improves with Android 12 update or upgrade on the 1 Mark III, they will be a bit disappointed because I think it is still a different hardware that they used for the 5 Mark III, which makes everything a little bit sharper here and there. So it's not only software, it's just the optics that make it sharper. Here you can see it is quite soft still so not a big improvement in the zoom category here again a zoom test this is uh, 2.9 times nice and sharp and uh, this is ultra wide angle 
also nice and sharp plenty of detail no issues there high dynamic range yeah as, as good as it could be in this scene and this is 4.4 times as you can see here it is a bit softer and this you can see here also ultra wide angle shot again and soft to the edges but pretty good in handing this you can see the car was passing by not sharp the rest is sharp because it has focusing this ultra wide angle and was focusing somewhere here and uh, when we take a look at the one time shot everything nice and sharp you can see plenty of details there maybe a little bit of over sharpening if i yeah may see that here right now and can tell you that in comparison to the xpr pro i that i also have but it looks good colors look good no issues here with the main lens main lens is still the best on the one mark three and the one mark three 2.9 times zoom yeah it is okay it is a bit soft here especially here where the windows are but you can see so much detail here it gets a lot more softer and uh, yeah i think it's okay but it's softer definitely than the 5 mark 3 that i um, saw some photos of uh, also with the zoom lens and this was running i think still android 11 so i don't think that there's a big update coming this is the 4.4 times zoom again you can see here a bit inch unsharp so it is still really the lens that is the issue here and again another zoom test i think you get the thing i just wanted to show you maybe where was it here this was the 12 point something zoom so it's a digital crop on the 4.4 times zoom and you can see as long as you don't zoom in it looks okay as soon as i zoom in you can see uh, processing here going on so yeah you can still read stuff but it is um, not the best and this is now 2.9 times zoom if i zoom in you can see it is still better than the 4.4 times zoom uh, no issues at all and uh, this is the digital crop in on the main sensor 2.9 times zoom you can see it's still good and uh, not as sharp as the uh, real 2.9 times zoom but it still can compete then moving subjects with the zoom lens working no issues at all you can see here i grabbed this car midway i also tried to grab this car here in 4.4 times zoom we can see it is a bit hazy it's a bit unsharp this is the problem with 4.4 times zoom and here as well as soon as i zoom in you can see some artifacts and yeah haziness but still in this shot it's great the 4.4 times zoom i really like it here as well 4.4 times zoom here's the one time zoom you can see something blue in the sky so uh, this is pretty accurate because this is how the sky looked like and last but not least the selfie um, yeah as bad as it was before you can see not high resolution a um, bit of unsharp a bit of sharpening going on um, it's better than the one mark ii but still it is not the best and the android 12 update didn't uh, bring any significant uh, photo updates uh, so far that I can see but if you see something you can tell me so what do you think about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III running Android 12 and its camera application I honestly don't see much of an improvement maybe in terms of stabilization here and there slight improvement for video but in terms of photos mm, not much so I think this is just purely a software update not so much a camera update and it's too bad that Sony is not listing what they changed so having a change log would help immensely by figuring out what kind of features they added to try it out but what do you think about android 12 for running on your xperia 1 mark 3 or 5 mark 3 do you have problems uh, in terms of software because i did a video about android 12 and that i really don't like it but you can uh, write down your software experiences and your camera experience did you find a case a side case or something like this where the camera is definitely better than before write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye